Hello guys, my name is Mauricio and today I'm here at the Paso Museum of Art and today I'm going to do a visual analysis of the Atkinson, Topeka and Santa Fe by Jan Janice Chansey. Chansey? Uh, this is a, a two-dimensional painting and the technique he uses is oil on the canvas. First of all, in this analysis, we're going to see two things. First, the visual elements of this work of art. Second, the principle of designs on this painting. When we are seeing this painting, we can feel calm, quiet and relaxed, because this painting is full of horizontal lines. And all these lines are in plot lines, because they are not drawn in this painting but they are created by value, colors and shapes of this painting. The function of these lines are contour lines and they are defining the edge of things. As we can see in the screen, I mark all the possible horizontal lines that this painting has. The shapes the artist is using are geometric shapes. The train wagons are examples of geometric shapes. Also, the mountains are forming a geometric shape, in this case, a rectangle. In this painting, the light is coming from the sky because it is daytime and the light is coming from the sun. Also, the artist is using high key light because she is painting very low contrast lighting. In this painting, the artist is using value of thin. The artist is mixing color and white to create the value of the painting. The artist is using secondary and tertiary colors to create this painting. The texture of this painting is visual texture. The technique of space the artist is using in this painting are overlapping. The train in the front is more full. Diminishing size. The trees in the background are smaller because they are in the back and they can be bigger than the train. And atmospheric perspective. The train in the foreground have more detail than the trees in the background. In addition, the principle of design are visible in this painting too. Unity and variety are visible in this painting. The unity is in the brown train wagons, because they are the same, and the variety is in the yellow wagons, they are almost the same, but they are different. The balance of this painting is an asymmetrical balance. This painting has a naturalistic style because the image is real and we can recognize the object at first. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope you like it.